Ah, big bucks bastard here. Like my hat. <laughs> I should make that a tradition. Uh, so I broke the key up in the in the door. So me being a locksmith. Well, I've been fixing my mom's locks for over 35 years. My mom, everywhere my mom moved, I replaced all the locks. I, I was in charge of that security. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. You got to have security. You know, there's no, nothing called an open door. You lock that shit up. Yeah, so all I did was a uh, simple little thing. I'm going I'm to call this uh, how to do list. Here you go. I should put it all on video. Huh. Well, I can explain what I did. Okay, first thing you want to do is take the, the master cylinder out. Right? Take the lock off. Take the lock off the door. Take it off. Take the, the, the master cylinder where the key goes in. Take that little piece. You can replace that easy. Just, you know... Take that off of any lock, you know, you can replace that. You know, all it does is insert the key. You know, it's got those little pins in there with the springs, setting pins. Yeah, it's all on YouTube. You know, it's all easy. So the key was broken inside. I tried to get it out with, you know, a, a very sharp knife and, and a very sharp tweezers. It was, it was broken off and really good. It was in there halfway. Yeah. Like somebody tried to get it out, but they just pushed it in further. But anyway, so uh, I took the master cylinder out and then I uh, took off the cover for the tumblers. There's a little sliding disc on there. And you'll see that if you look at the master lock cylinder, you know, where the key goes in. When you hold it up, you'll see a little flat piece right there. All you do is slide that off. Now be careful because there's springs in there and shit. When you slide that little disc off, right? Slide it out real slow, careful. Careful, put your thumb over the top so the springs don't pop out, you know. And then take all the springs out individually, put them all in order that they were. Now this is the trick. Once you do that, and once you get the springs out, you make sure that sucker's up. Because you don't want to lose them tumblers. Because them tumblers are all set, different sizes for your key. You don't want you don't want to take those out. You put your thumb over the holes, right, so they don't fall out. Turn it upside down. You fill them, go right onto your thumb. Now you hold on to that thing. Hold on to it. Make sure you got to hold on to it. Now you turn that little key in the back. There is a little flat disc. A turn disc. You turn that, tip it this way, whoop, it fell right out. It fell right out. The no, only thing that's holding that broken key in there is the springs and the tumblers. That's holding it in. Once you release that pressure, and once you drop the tumblers down onto your thumb, so you lay my thumb now. Yeah. You see the impression, see, from the tumblers? You, you hold that tight, rip it. Upside down, the broken key falls out, you know, then carefully flip it back around with the thumb on there, take your thumb off, make sure the tumblers ain't stuck to your thumb, they all fall back down, turn the thing a little bit, whatever, and then it will lock again, see, when you get upside down and the tumblers fall out, you notice that key turns, see, that's when I tilted it sideways, the key fell out, so you turn that. See, there's no tumbler that's holding it. So then the key fell out, and then I tipped it back down, and then I turned that thing until it was straight again, and it locked. I put the springs back in in order to where, where they were. Now, carefully, you got to be careful. Make sure that disc, that little sliding disc that holds the springs, make sure it's flat, you know. And uh, I kind of bent mine a little bit when I was taking it out, but I flattened back out. Now, what you got to do is you got to carefully push the spring back down, push the disc forward. Push the spring down, push the disc forward. Each time, each one. Work the spring down, push it over the top. 
push the screen down, push it over the top until you get to the last one. The last one's a little tricky, I found out. So I held, I held, I held it down and I took my pliers and I tapped it, the disc until it goes over because it goes a little tighter. It's got the little groove in there, that locking groove. Don't flatten that out. Leave that groove in there. And you tap it for it until it gets like halfway on. Then tap, push it on. Make sure it's secured. It ain't going nowhere. Bada boom, bada bing. Done. Now you take your good key, stick it in there, and then turn it to see if it works. Now, if it turns, you can see the flat disc in the back there. You can see it turn, and that means you're opening the door. Pull the key back out, stick it back in there, turn it again. Wow, you did it right. Put it all back together, bada boom, bada bing. You just fix your own broken lock key. You break the key in the lock, no problem. If you got any problems, call me, Crazy Carl. <laughs> YouTube, Carl Kiss, subscribe. Thank you. Thank you very much. How to fix your lock with the broken key in it. Uh, Carl Kiss, subscribe. Bye.